I've just explained it. Okay. No, I've just answered your question. You I've got that question. You I've, I listen, my friend. All of these this is what happens when you I put. You one question. Listen, you, you don't like the fact no. that the law has gone upon you. Here's my question for you, Jack. Right? Let's talk about the pavement again. There's a bit of slime on the street here. What would I do to this now, Jack? I start stamping on the slime. Have I done anything wrong, Jack? Have I done anything wrong standing on that slime? No, I've not have it. Am I going to get arrested for standing on the slime? I'm not, am I? Okay. But if I stand on you, will I get arrested? Yeah, because I'm a person. You're a person. Okay. Now, if you're an atheist, you've got to believe. Listen, if you're an atheist, you've got to believe we came from something called primordial slime. And we evolved over the million, millions of years, many, many years. Okay. So if I stand on slime, have I done anything wrong? No. If I stand on you, I've done something wrong. So you tell me, Mr. Atheist, at what point do you get value? Okay, what you're about to watch is a particularly wild day street preaching. And as you watch this, I know, you don't have to tell me, I know I did miscommunicate in places. And I was asked some very hard questions and I know I didn't have the answers. So as you watch this, just think, how would you respond to this question? And if you've got a good answer that you feel uh, would work well, please do share it in the comments section because I know I've got a lot to learn and I know I need to work on my apologetics better. If there's any more questions, I know some of you, you're all, you, you speak up online, you say all these things, ask me a question now, I'd love to answer it. I give someone my hole, knowing the big man up there, he's going to welcome me with open arms, or knowing the people he's left down there, the kids, his grandkids, are happy and well off, and knowing they're going to miss him and love him. So when you said you was at hospital last week, yeah, yeah, yeah. and his kids are there with him, that was last month with my father, but what's he going to love more than him now? If he was an atheist, the big man up there is going to welcome him, all the ones he's loved and brought up all of his life, is there and remembers them. I'm not sure, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm struggling to understand your question, so you're... The big, so the, the believer, yeah? He goes up there to, to God, and that is giving him hope. So that, I believe, is what you're hoping. He's going to go up there, then eternity with God. That gives him hope, yeah? But on the other side of it, if he doesn't believe, you said he was at hospital, yeah? He doesn't have long to live, but if he's really yeah, alive, yeah, 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 yeah. His kids, his grandkids are there. Yeah, they're going to remember, they're going to love him. Yeah, I, I've, so I'm not hope, disputing that. He doesn't believe he's going to go up there with God. His hope, no, his but Jesus' his grandkids, no, well, not Jesus, he ain't gonna do sh kids. Well, that, kids. that's if you don't believe in God, but I'm yeah. telling you, no, I'm trying to explain. If he does, what is he gonna do? Jesus is the one who can more. empty graves. One listen, there, listen, be with. listen, what's your name? What's your name? what my name is. Right. In fact, his kids, listen, are gonna love and remember him more. Listen, the point is this, my friend. Jesus can empty graves. If you want it, it's fine. If you're contented living in your grave, that's absolutely fine. Jesus says, fine, I wish you well. But Jesus Christ can empty your grave and give you hope. We're all going to die, you know. I, one day I, I had hair, so today I don't have much hair. You know, you've got wrinkles, we've, we're all changing, we're all decaying, we're all going one way. We're, and, and the hope is this, that listen, we're given 80 years at most on this earth, some 100 maybe, give or take. But the point is this, there is a life of eternity forever forever i know it's so hard to comprehend but jesus christ can give that to you but the problem is the problem is is you and i we've got sin on us now i, I want to take you back to you're not a sinner no no i heard you swear a minute ago is that not sin okay uh, what about this okay have you ever told lies before what do you mean by so you have told lies then yeah so what does that make you if you want to call it a sin, but they've been lying. If someone tells lies, someone. it's called a what? Would you tell a lie that would help someone in Yeah, but what, I'm not talking about lie. that. I'm not like. Are they the only lies you've ever told? You've, you've only no, told lies. Told to you've told others, yeah. I, so, you so, I have. I'm, I'm not judging you. Listen, just, I'm just trying to, You said you've done nothing wrong. I didn't say I've not done anything wrong. I'm a fallen man. But what I'm, hope does the big listen, let's stay on what you've just said. You said you've not done anything wrong. So you've told lies. So that makes yeah. you a liar. Yeah. Have you ever used God's name in, as a swear word? So, you know, maybe you drop something on the floor and you say, OMG. Have you ever said that before? No. You've never done that, okay? Yeah, I, I've done that before, okay? Now, I'm not going on that. I'm going on about what yeah. you said hope. Yeah, okay, that's fine. We'll stay on that. But you said you've done nothing wrong. God gives, no, I'm not on listen, about listen. God. You've, no, you've I've changed. just answered your question. You've I've the exact question. You've I've, I, I, listen, my friend. All of these this is what things. happens when you I put... I one question. Listen, you don't changed. like the fact no. that the law has gone upon you. The, no, the God, you, you don't like that your conscience has no, been pricked. that you are. question. 
to everyone you were chatting to and then you and I answered it and my answer was this Jesus can give you hope but the problem is you and I are sinners and you said that you've done nothing wrong you said you haven't sinned so I'm asking you have you sinned so we've already agreed you've told lies okay have you ever stolen anything before I have. I've stolen things, okay? I've blasphemed, I've stolen things. This now, Jesus said, before, listen, Jesus said, Jesus said, if you've ever looked upon a woman with lust, you've committed you adultery in your life. You have you committed ask, adultery in your heart? No, you, you can't ask one question, and then when someone asks another, you're going a completely different I've answered your question. No, you're not. So what, what, you, you, you can take my hope. answer, or least. I'd ask a simple question in return, in regard to the question about hope, and when you mentioned hospital and all that. Yeah. And you've completely gone on You can take my answer or leave it. Your hair, wrinkles, oh. what on earth is that about? Because that gives us hope. No, it, it gives us you. hope. What, it does give us hope. And then you're not listening because you're not. I'm trying to explain to you. You're a dying man. My friend there with the white jumper, what do you think? Innocent or guilty? Yeah, you. Guilty. You you think, okay, this man says he needs uh, dealing with quite strongly. P. Diddy, innocent or guilty? Uh, guilty. You think he's guilty as well, okay? What do you think, sir? P. Diddy, innocent or guilty? Guilty. Too, much, too much evidence. Too much evidence. I, I'm with all the people who are saying guilty. I believe he's guilty. When God looks at your life, do you think you're innocent or guilty? My friend is helping me here. You think you're guilty? Why would you say that, sir? Sinner. You're a sinner. My friend, I'm a sinner too. You know, have you got an answer to your sin, though? You go to church. Well, let me tell you this. I don't want to. What's your name, sir? I'm Joe. What's that? Jeff. 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 I don't want to upset you, but literally, there'll be many, many churchgoers that will go to hell. It's it's the truth, my friend. Many people who, who say that they they give to charity. Do you know there's only one way to get to heaven? And I'll tell you what it is. It's through the cross. Yeah. You see, the Son of God, Jesus Christ, on the cross, all the, all the guiltiness that Joe's done, all the guiltiness that Jay, J Jeff's done, all the guiltiness of the sins of the world was laid on Jesus, and he was punished on that cross so we can be forgiven. And it's all you have to do is call upon the name of the Lord, and he'll wash away all of your sins. Wow. It's good news, Philly. The lads over here. Have you heard about Lil Philly from the uh, side men? Yeah. You have? What's he done? He's, he's been in trouble for some, doing some bad things in a hotel. If you check on your phone, you are. It's, it's not live, but you will be on YouTube, maybe. Uh, it's called Off The Curb Ministries. Yeah, but listen, you know, Lil Philly from the side, man, he's, he's got in trouble. He's, uh, he's Lil Philly, you know, do you know who he is? What is it? Young Philly, sorry. Yeah, well, listen, I'm not as young and down as the kids. Yeah, I do need to do that. But have you heard what he's done? I'm not, I'm not preaching that. Why don't you hang around and listen to what I'm saying? You don't know what I've said yet. What did I? You don't know what I'm saying yet. Yeah, I'm trying to spell it out because I'm trying to explain something that's happened in the news today. Okay? Yeah. Well, listen to me. That's fine, mate. Yeah. Have you got anything sensible to say? Have you got anything that people would like to hear? I'm trying to tell people, innocent or guilty. P Diddy is he innocent or guilty? I'll tell you what it's got to do with it. Are you innocent? Hey, what's your name, sir? Don't, don't walk off now, that's a great name sir, yeah. Don't walk away, talk to me now, okay, right. You see, you've got a lot to say, so I want to hear from you. Why am I asking people? You, you have got a lot to say. Right, okay, well, that's fine. Listen, my friend, my friend. Listen, yeah, listen. I'm going to ask you then, so why am I saying P Diddy, innocent or guilty? Are you innocent or are you guilty before God? Are you innocent? You're guilty, yeah. So if you died tonight, where would you go? Heaven or hell? Straight down. And does that bother you in any way? It doesn't bother. Why does it not bother you? But that you won't, you won't, you won't. My friend, my friend, you will not, you will not enjoy it in hell. My friend, it's a place where there's weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. If you've got all the fire engines in Preston, all the fire engines in Lancashire, all the fire engines of the world, there wouldn't be enough firemen to put out the fires of hell. And you, friend, are happy to go there. Stop trying to put the fires of hell out. Stop jumping. You're going up there. I'm going down there. No, but it doesn't have to be that way. That's why I'm studying. It's not because I like the sound of my own voice. Street preachers are like fire alarms. They're very, very annoying, but they warn you of danger. And I'm here to warn you of a danger, but it doesn't have to be that way. It's all you have to do, my friend, is come to the cross and the Lord Jesus Christ will wash away your sins. You are. You can be your own self. God made you as a person uniquely, but you still doesn't change your sin, does it? It doesn't exist. Okay, God, God doesn't exist. Does your sin exist? Yes, of course 
Okay, so your sin exists, but God doesn't exist. My dear friend, you need your sins washing away. If you don't believe that God exists, don't, oh, don't pull him away. Are you his mother? He's a man of his own, he's a man of his own integrity, don't pull him away. This man said God doesn't exist. Well, I'd like to ask that man a very simple question. He seems like he's got a few brain cells there. What is zero plus zero? It's not two, is it? It's zero. So if there's no God in the beginning, if there's no creator, how do you get a universe from nothing? Look at that building there behind me. How do we know that that building once had a builder? Because the building itself is evidence there was once a builder. I've never met the builder, but I know he exists because the building stands there as evidence. How do you know a paint? I've got. I've, I've got a job, but I'm standing out here because this keeps me humble. I could stay on YouTube and I could get all the subscribers and likes, but this keeps me humble because I want to reach you people and tell you there is a very real hell. Well, why isn't he? Why, why do you say he isn't real? I just don't believe it. You don't believe it? Okay, so where did this universe come from? Science. Science is just a word. Okay, so the Big Bang. Okay, so what's your name? Sorry. Bill. Bill. Okay, Bill. If you hear a bang on the other side of that building, you might say to me what caused that bang. Maybe a, a car went off, a, a car backfired, a bullet was shot, but something caused the bang. So what caused the first big bang, Phil? Bill. Okay, so you're saying atoms bouncing together, right? So where did the atoms come from? They just came, They weren't though, because the big bang says that time, it once had a beginning. Time hasn't always existed, so something started time. So what was it? No, you just don't have an answer. You've do you know what you've done, Bill? You've gone to school and you've drank in what the school teachers tell you. There is no God. You came from an animal. And is it any wonder that we get people acting like animals? Well, did they? They told you to believe in God, did they? Yeah. And so, so why do you not believe in him then? Right, okay. So what is it? Why is it? Why is it? And that St. David's book, St. David's book, the other day, like, I don't know what it was on, like, the, I don't know what it's called, but I tried to read it. And the was, Bible? Not, yeah, it was like, I think it was like a scripture on the Bible. Right, okay, yeah, yeah. And, and then, like, I was reading it, and I was getting like, angry whilst I was reading it, because <laughs> I couldn't agree with any of it. Right, okay, so what's one thing? So this man here, for those who are going by, having a bit of a debate with people about God, Bill here says that he didn't agree with the Bible. So I'm going to ask Bill, what was the one thing you didn't agree with about the Bible? Let's see. Yeah, you didn't agree with. Oh, I was getting... No, you can't just say everything. There must be one thing. There's loads and loads of things. There must be one thing you didn't agree with. I can't remember the physical reading, but I just remember me getting angry after reading the book. Right, you can't remember it. Okay. Right, okay. Well, well I, I, I'm angry at this pavement. Does that mean it doesn't exist? I'm angry at this pavement. Does it mean it doesn't exist? I don't know. I just don't like it. Why are you angry at the Bible? I'm just angry at everything. Can you see the foolishness of that argument, my friend? Yeah. Well, listen, listen, I understand what you're saying. So that's why it's great to have YouTube. Go on TikTok, listen to these things. It's all I'm here to say. I'm not here to talk about many things. It's just a very simple message. Bill's done wrong, Joe's done wrong. Now, believe it or not, I'm actually a married man, okay? I've got three children now. My friend, do you think I've ever made my wife cry before? What do you think? My friends who are walking off with the hoodies, do you think I've made my wife cry before? What do you reckon? Yeah? I have. Okay, you see these eyes here. Do you think if everything I'd seen on my life went on this screen behind me, do you think I'd be embarrassed of anything I'd looked at? When what do you reckon? Die, you go to the same places before you was born. How do you know? How do you know? How do you know, sir? Have you been there? Have you? Have you seen God? I, I, I haven't, but I'll tell you there's one who did come back from the grave, the Lord Jesus Christ. Did you meet him? I have met him. He's changed my life. He's washed away my sins. Yeah. Yeah. He's ch Listen, I was like you, a cocky little lad. Yeah, he's changed our lives. Listen, uh, are you saying that these girls here, they, 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 they're irrational people? They, yeah. He's turned their lives upside down, my where, friend. Where did God come from? Well, a very good question, okay? So are you we... can't say where did the earth come from? Yeah, yeah, no, good question, good question, yeah. I'll answer that. I'll answer that. What's your name, sorry? Jack. Jack. Jack asked the best question. I'm talking about everything around. Everything has a designer. This ladder, shoes, it's all got a designer, okay? And he asked, who made God? Really good question. Now, just look at Cafe Nero for me. Okay, just turn around. Have a look at Cafe Nero. I want you to count four bricks up, okay? You see those bricks on the door, okay? What is holding up that fourth brick up? 
the brick below it, okay? What is holding up the third brick up? What's holding that up? The brick below it. What's holding up the last brick? What's holding up the last brick? It's the ground, isn't it? Eventually, when you go so far back, you get a force that's so bigger than everything that it holds everything up. You see, where did God come from? I've just explained it. Okay, everything, listen. Your jacket there, it was made by a tailor, wasn't it? It's material, okay? These bricks are made of material. Everything is material. But God, listen, is immaterial. He's spirit. He's spirit. So he's, he doesn't, he's the no creator. He's outside of time. No, he does exist. And he created everything. And just listen, listen, it's all very, I'm telling you now, there's no atheists in the trenches. And I guarantee if you, you met trouble in your face and it all, you cry out to God. Of life. My friend, think about these things. I'm telling you, God loves you to pieces. The atheist doesn't have any answers. He doesn't know where we've come from. He doesn't know what happens in the middle. And he doesn't know where we're going. And I'm telling you, if there's any atheist today, you go into Preston Hospital and you give some hope to dying men. You can't, can you? You can't give any hope to dying men. And yet I'm telling you about a God who loves you to pieces, who can wash away all of your sins and give you a hope from the grave. I was in Manchester last week preaching. A man came into town. He heard the message about Jesus. You say I'm wasting time. That man came into, into Manchester and he wanted to shoplift. He heard about Jesus Christ. He said, I'm going home. A forgiven man. Okay, maybe you say it, it's, it's all made up. But that man, he, he left there. And, that, and let's say the shops were a little bit richer because they didn't lose things. By the way, Jack and Bill, who you saw in the video, the two atheist lads, they actually came up after and we got a good conversation with them and they were willing to chat. And then Steve, the man who was um, at times a little bit angry uh, talking about hope and being in hospital, he actually came up to me and apologised. And again, I apologised if there was any miscommunication. At points, my mind went blank and it was a difficult day. But I just ask that you'd pray for these souls. And it's a wonderful thing that we were able to leave on a positive note with all of them and just pray that as the seeds go out the gospel would take root in people's hearts and souls would be saved we just chip away we keep going at it one soul at a time trying to tell people about Jesus if you are new to the channel and this is your first time here please do subscribe if you'd like to see my journey as a street preacher just trying to get better at sharing the good news on the streets all around England